So now let's have a look at the lesson plan and we're going to first of all look at the part, the first part, first series of lessons which is the high teacher um, input which in the gradual release of responsibility is the model, the strategy lessons. It's important to note that this might take over several lessons for you to get through, it's not intended to be one lesson. If you're using the hard copy you'll be referring to the poster size text as you take lesson plan one. If you're using the digital version it will take you through the lesson um, with the text on, on the screen. We start off each of the lessons by um, making sure that we've identified with the students and taken into what exactly the strategy is. So that's called introducing the strategy. So we'll be talking about the, the kid-friendly definition. And we've mentioned that before, but on the digital version you would simply click on the definition of the strategy. From there we make sure that the students are clear on the learning goals, which is the formative assessment component. And again, on the digital version, the learning goals you are accessed by clicking on that. Then as we go into the lesson, we have a series of different components that we take students through to prepare them to read and then to support them as they're reading. So they're all identified for you on the written version or you click onto the digital version into lesson plan one and that's the, the series we're going to go through. So the first thing we do is we do what we call activate prior knowledge. So we set the students up for a task, a discussion task. They may be doing some note taking and feeding back to you as the teacher, but to find out what they know about what they're going to read, what they know about the content and what they know about the text type. Digitally, if we click onto the screen here, here is the task, here is what you'd say to the students, you're telling them that you're going to read in a report, it's about technology, it's about the deep sea ocean, and you ask them to think about what do they know about the deep sea ocean. That provides ample opportunities for discussion with the students. When you're confident that they've got understanding about the top content, the next part that we uh, make sure that the children are prepared to read is with vocabulary. So we know that vocabulary is a really important component for reading because you need to know those, the word key words. So we identify in our lesson plan some key words that you need to check your students' understanding of before they read the text. On the digital version, we go to know your vocabulary and the key words are here and we discuss with the students what we know about those words. The paper version has each of the words and a, a um, photograph and an explanation of each of the words provided on the back so you can clarify the vocabulary after discussion with the students. The digital version requires you to um, click on the word and as you do that, up will come a, a photo or a, a visual image which explores the concept behind the word and an explanation for students in kid-friendly versions so they can understand that. If we click back onto the vocab list, you will see that there is other vocabulary for students to think about too. Over here on the digital version we have a think about button. If we click on the think about button it takes the students through some of the things they need to think about when they're looking at words and they're not sure if they know the meaning of them. So we've now got the students, they've activated their prior knowledge about content, we've checked their knowledge of the text structure and we've checked their knowledge of vocabulary. So, so they're ready to read. So the next part of the lesson plan and in, in outlines for ready to read, we introduce the graphic organiser that the students are going to follow. We introduce the strategy or reintroduce the strategy again for them so they see what they're going to be doing. When we go to the digital version, if we click on read the text, up comes the first part of the text. You'll see that the text is divided in the digital version into chunks and in the lesson plans we also do that. We get you to take the students through paragraph by paragraph, looking at the visuals, looking at the text structure, reading the text to ask specific questions about what they are reading. Once we've been all the way through the text, um, either digitally or using our poster, we go to the discuss and reflect part of the lesson menu. What the thinking behind this is, is that we want the students to have ample opportunity now to talk about what they've learned about content. So the content in this particular text is about exploring the ocean. We then want them to have ample opportunity to talk about what they've learned about the key concept. The key concept they've been reading about is how technology helps to explore the world. 
And the third thing we want them to talk about is what they've learned about the definition. So as a result of this sequence of lessons, what have they learned about um, monitoring and clarifying? From there, we can go back to the learning goals to revisit, or we can go on to the follow-up activities. Now the paper um, version, the hard copy version, outlines the follow-up activities, as does the digital. We provide two writing reading links so we've got activities where they draw on the information in the text and they do some writing and we also provide a vocab follow-up activity. There is one other activity that we provide which is if we click on here we can see and that is the re-reading. So if we were to click on the re-read here we'd take you back to the same text. Now it's really really important that students learn to read the text several times to get more information in the second and third reading. So there are some follow-up activities with reading and writing. If we just click on here, we'll just find one of them. Complete a fact sheet, sheet about the deep sea technology, or the second one, imagining you're a scientist in a modern day submersible. So we have a literal activity and a more using the information in the text. And finally, we have a vocab activity. The vocab activity, there are a range of these provided in each module. Um, examples for the students to follow but basically we're getting the students to use the words and use the vocab that they weren't sure of. Now as, a, as bringing all of this together we also have a self-assessment activity that we have the students complete. Each of the units has, has a self-assessment sheet that goes alongside it and we ask the students to um, identify how well they think they're going against each of the learning goals that we put at the beginning of the lesson. So if we click to the learning goals here, these are the learning goals that are shown on the self-assessment sheet. The self-assessment sheet is available for teachers to download on the um, disc and it's also inside the lesson sequence on the digital version.